Foraminal stenosis can be caused by a number of different things. Quite often it's caused by a herniated or bulging disc that's compressing a nerve, or it could be caused by a bone spur that's growing off the joint in the back that can also be compressing the nerve. The foramen itself, the term just means opening. So it's the opening where the nerve comes out of the spine. So the herniated disc or the bone spur protrudes into the opening where the nerve is exiting the spine and pinches it. Well, when the nerve gets pinched, you can get symptoms of leg pain or numbness or tingling or weakness in the leg and even reflex changes that we pick up on exam. So what are some of the treatments for foraminal stenosis? Well, typically we try to give your body time with maybe some help from some anti-inflammatories to kind of decrease the inflammation of that nerve and hopefully you get some relief of your symptoms. Physical therapy can help stabilize the back so there's less micromotion and irritation in the foramen and therefore less irritation of the nerve and hopefully your symptoms subside. Injections like epidural steroid injections can also help to decrease the inflammation of either the herniated disc or the inflammation from the pinched nerve that can also give you some symptomatic relief or pain relief from your leg pain. The last option would be minimally invasive procedure to help take the pressure off that nerve directly. And the way we do that is we make less than a one inch skin incision in the back. We make a little window in the bone and ligament to free up the nerve, basically take the pressure off the nerve. So that means we could shave down the disc or the bone spur. And when we get the pressure off the nerve, you get relief of the symptoms in your leg. Now that procedure takes about 45 minutes to an hour and you leave about an hour afterwards. To get started today, fill out our form on our website or give us a call and we'd be more than happy to schedule you for an appointment to answer all your questions.